What is going on, everybody? It is your boy Blizzy coming through with another Blizzy car video. All right, so this one, as you can see here, is my 2017 Subaru Impreza that we got with like 73,000 miles on it. This is a 2017, and it now has a hundred. 15,000 miles on it we drive a lot we commute a lot and as you can see here the car has upgraded inky 18 inch wheels and there's when I had the Yokohamas on there those are 225 40 18s so got the car with 73,000 we're now up to 115,000. We got some things to take care of, and it's just a part of life. So these tires that are pictured here on this car, on my car out there in the driveway right now, and they're pretty cupped and done. So what does that tell me? An alignment, some tires. Um, I got some brake noises going on, so going to do some um, brake pads and rotors serpentine belt dry belt um, doing spark plugs wires ignition coils um, and spark plugs as far as that goes and I'm also going to be doing a, a coolant flush and we're going to do the transmission and the differentials differential fluid um, flush and transmission flush so I got upstairs I have um, I haven't even done any videos about this I have some brand new Nittos some 225 40 18s for that car right there that's pretty aggressive that are going to be going on there I just got to get the car into my shop have them swap those out and on the same day I gotta line it up to do an alignment and while I have the car in there and having him uh, do the tires and wheels I want to do the belt spark plugs and the coils and the brakes so when I got the car we did the front rotors and pads and I did the back pads knowing that the the back rotors were going to be needed uh, to be replaced in the next go round, also probably so I just took that into consideration and made sure that I ordered all of those this time so I ordered all new uh, drilled and slotted rotors for front and back for this and so I'll drop it off with the tires and all of this stuff and We'll have a a really nice, fresh, what I would consider a nice tune-up. The car already has a K&N air filter in it. Not the whole intake, just the, the filter in the box. The stock air filter, or the stock air filter, or the stock air box that is with the K&N air filter. Um, been told that that's the best route which I would imagine so you don't really want uh, an exposed filter too much to the elements when you're dealing with moisture and snow and dirt and stuff like that so this this Subaru we we live on a dirt road and we use it for the all-wheel drive and the car has been great it hasn't broke on us with any anything knock on wood and um, I give it that I give it a lot so the factory tires and wheels that we bought this car with are down in the basement and they're still in somewhat usable condition they just need to be balanced again and um, the roads here really do a, a heavy amount of damage to your tires and wheels and stuff like that so this car has gone out of out of balance somewhere 
and um, the tires that are on there though they were 14 years old they were in a stored heated garage um, and but yeah they were 14 years old and I got like <clears throat> excuse me they, they had maybe close to three quarters of the tread left and with the elements here and that style of tire we've gotten like six months on those six months give or take and they're not completely done but I did go out there and look at them today they're pretty cupped so we were noticing some wobble and stuff like that and that's it's apparent why we got some cupping and we need to do an alignment and make sure that we got all the wheel bearings bushings and stuff like that is all good on all four corners before we go put on new tires and just let those get ate up too so that's where we're at this is all just preventative maintenance stuff I none of these parts <clears throat> are like to the point where oh my god I gotta replace them like immediately maybe the brakes would be like like the, the most immediate thing my belt still looked really good the coils are still firing like they should there's no check engine light but hey when you hit 115,000 it's safe to assume the people before we got it with the 70,000 were avoiding all of that and they didn't do it so we'll just be safe to assume it hasn't been done all new fluids in the differential and the transmission it just ensures that years later down the road that this thing will be around to continue to work for us and unfortunately being a responsible car owner if you drive heavy like us this is the stuff you got to deal with but if you don't drive heavy then it, it might not be uh, such a critical thing for you but this is my particular situation whatever you have whatever you drive if you're like us you drive over 50 miles a day 60 miles a day and that's more like 100 miles a day for me if you drive that amount of miles just you gotta be mindful of the wear and tear I gotta do it all the time where did my tires go seems like every year Every year I'm going through a set of tires, depending on the quality of them, and I'm hoping these Nittos will last me a good season or so. But with the elements, and then when the winter time comes, you want something good to deal with that. Eh, I'm gonna be purchasing for next season instead of uh, studded snow tires to put on those factory wheels that I have. That's what I'm going to do, but I hope you guys like this video. This is just some preemptive steps that I'm taking. Take it as you will. Let me know in the comments what you might do. If there's anything else maybe I'm missing here that I can add to the list, but I really want to just do the basic flushes and drivetrain parts and make sure everything's tight under there. <clears throat> Control arms, bushings. <clears throat> excuse me all of that will be checked and I'll let you guys know in a further video what I find to maybe nail out why the tires started cupping that are on there that you see in this picture but I just chalk it up to 14 year old tires and I'm lucky I got six months out of them right so the nittos are upstairs and they'll be getting put on here with all those new parts that I'm going to be ordering this week and um, maybe I'll do a video on that when I get all those parts in and we'll show those on when they go on so you guys stay tuned thank you for watching and make sure you check out my other reviews on the guns because there's a lot of them thank you